Prosecutors have decided not to file charges following a three-month criminal investigation into a Greenfield Headstone Company. WRTV Investigates raised questions about Greenfield Granite's business practices back in August when customer after customer said they paid for headstones but never received them. Our Kara Kenny joins us now with why grieving families are starting to lose hope. This headstone is just one of many sitting outside of Greenfield Granite. The Quick family doesn't know when they're going to get it because it's all caught up in a legal battle. Sheila Carson misses her mom, who died in January 2019. Sheila's grieving is more difficult because her mom's resting place still isn't finished. My mom's headstone. It's still sitting unfinished outside of Greenfield Granite, the business where Sheila ordered it from a year and a half ago. It breaks my heart that it's still just sitting here on the sidewalk, that it's not complete. Even if we were allowed to take it now, it's, it's not complete. It doesn't have a base. Greenfield Granite's owner, Amy Stroll, died by suicide in September amid a criminal investigation into Amy and her business practices. Following her death, the Indiana Attorney General's office filed a lawsuit accusing Greenfield Granite of taking money from more than a dozen customers and not finishing the work. The AG's office is working to get customers refunds and headstones back to families. But it's about to get even more complicated. Amy Stroll's husband, James Stroll, filed for bankruptcy on October 20th. Disheartened, but not surprised. James Stroll lists his partial ownership of Greenfield Granite in the filing, and the bankruptcy also says James Stroll did manual labor and became aware of the financial issues with the business and the undelivered work after Amy's death. We asked the Attorney General's office how the bankruptcy affects their case, and they told us the Hancock County lawsuit is still proceeding at this point. Amy Stroll's mother, Cynthia Heck, is listed as Greenfield Granite's registered agent in the state's lawsuit. She also sold the building for $120,000 a week before Amy's death. Hancock County prosecutors announced this week they will not be filing criminal charges against Heck, James Stroll, or anyone else, despite a more than three-month investigation into Greenfield Granite's business practices. We did have a pretty strong case criminally with Amy. However, with her death, um, we kind of had to change gears on that. Detective Nicole Gilbert says she's talked with more than 100 potential victims who've spent more than $130,000 on headstones, many who never received them. I feel for these people, and I understand that they want criminal charges. Um, you know, I worked with the prosecutor's office so much to look to make sure we were missing something that could be charged. Um, you know, but also knowing the law and what can be proven and knowing the level of evidence we would need, um, especially after speaking to the prosecutor's office, I know personally it's, it's not there. The decision not to prosecute is not sitting well with customers like Mary Collins, who paid for her husband's bench but never received it or a refund. That really disturbs me. I would think a company has got to be responsible. Whether the person is still here or not, that company, I came to this company, I didn't come to Amy. And I don't understand that. Mary had to pay another business to finish her husband's bench. She's glad to finally have a place to visit with him. Makes me sick, sick that they can do this to people and get away with it. Think of all the people that suffered because of this. Greenfield Granite is facing other legal troubles as well. At least nine other civil lawsuits from customers. Most say they paid for a headstone but never received it. Grieving families like Mary Collins want to know what happened to the money customers paid for headstones. Yeah, where's the money? Detective Gilbert says she's reviewed financial records but won't disclose her findings because it's now part of the state's case against Greenfield Granite. Sheila Carson is struggling with the bankruptcy filing and decision not to file charges, but she's holding out hope she'll have her mom's headstone soon. Each bit of update or news or bad news is just, it's just an emotional roller coaster all over again. No one answered the door when we knocked here at Greenfield Granite, and in the window is the state's temporary restraining order, which says the company cannot remove any property from the premises. Reporting in Greenfield, Kara Kenny, WRTV.
WRTV Investigates has tried to reach out to James Stroll and Cynthia Heck for comment, and we are still waiting to hear back. No attorney is listed in court documents, and no date is set for court for the Attorney General's lawsuit against Greenfield Granite. But the civil lawsuits in Hancock County will head to trial this month.